Well, hey there. When I couldn't find a table runner that matched my dining room the way I liked, I turned to my yarn stash and created this little gem. With one ball of It's a Wrap rainbow yarn and a couple of productive weekends, you can make one too. The step-by-step -step tutorial is coming up. Start off by making 55 chains. Next, find the fourth chain from the hook and double crochet there. I like to work in the back bump of the chain because the edge looks a little cleaner, but do whatever works for you. This way is a little more fiddly, but I think it's worth it. Okay, here's the repeat for this row. Double crochet two together using the previous chain and two chains away. So you're really just skipping one chain. Then chain one to finish it off. And repeat to the last three chains. From here, double crochet two together again in the previous chain and two away, so the second to last chain. But when you finish that, don't chain one here, just double crochet in the last chain, chain three, and turn. All right, row two has pretty much the same repeat. First, double crochet two together using the first and second stitch. Then chain one. And now for the repeat, double crochet two together using the previous stitch, skip the chain one and use the next stitch, which is a double crochet two together. Then just repeat that to the last two stitches. All right, at the end of the row here, double crochet two together using the previous stitch and the next stitch. Then double crochet in the turning chain from the previous row, which is counted as a stitch, by the way, this is your last stitch of the row. The great thing about this project is the entire thing has just a single row repeat. So go ahead and repeat row two until your work measures about 70 inches from the starting edge. The yarn will go through a really neat transition as one thread is changed at a time. This colorway is called foggy, by the way, but there's a handful of other options to choose from. All right, that should take you to the end of the ball of yarn. Then go ahead and fasten off 
and weave in your ends. As I'm doing that, I'll mention the final step is to wet block to the final measurements, 10 inches wide by 72 inches long. That's gonna give you the best look and really allow the stitch pattern to open up so you can see the cool lattice effect. Speaking of the stitch pattern, let me know if you'd like to see a dedicated video just for the stitch pattern. I really grew to love it during this project and if it's something you're interested in, I'll get that in the works. So let me know that in the comments. And that's all for now, friend. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing and liking and commenting. I really, really appreciate it because those little actions make a big impact in sharing this craft we both love. Honestly, I couldn't continue doing what I'm doing without your support. Happy hooking, and I'll see you in the next one.